Could a Crestwood, Kentucky doctor's office be the future of health care? Well, some are saying it may be a part of the solution to solving the country's longstanding debate over care and your insurance. Thanks for staying with us at 530. I'm Doug Profit. And I'm Rachel Platt. Bluegrass Family Wellness hosted that roundtable with Senator Rand Paul today that involved a discussion on their model of direct primary care. Our political editor, Chris Williams, joins us with the details. And Chris, the big question, I guess, how does this compare to typical primary care that we usually hear about? Yeah. Not everyone has heard of direct primary care, Rachel. It is, instead of billing your insurance, there's a monthly fee, and then that covers nearly everything. And doctors then say it opens the door for them to negotiate down prices patients pay to specialists if a specialist is needed. Senator Rand Paul took in the stories from the office in Crestwood of Dr. Molly Rutherford, who said she was inspired to start this family practice two years ago after getting frustrated by the direction of the healthcare industry. So we want to change the conversation, especially in D.C. We keep talking about coverage, which the, the real problem is the cost of health care. And, and expanding coverage by the ACA has not changed that. Dr. Rutherford says she's not slamming the Affordable Care Act known as Obamacare, but insists that changes in the health care law have not improved the actual care Americans receive. She and other doctors open this direct primary care office that involves a flat fee from $10 for children to $50, $75, or $100 a month for an adult, depending upon their age. Patients, not an insurance company, pays. There are allotted monthly visits, potential home visits, some emergency care, and labs are covered. They also have a pharmacy that can dispense medications, except controlled substances, for pennies on the dollar. If a specialist is needed, doctors here refer patients and can help negotiate down the out-of-pocket prices for the specialty treatments. I think we need innovations and we need to think outside the box. What we heard today was an innovation. And she was like, I can't afford not to have you. During the roundtable, patients and doctors described the price-conscious model they claim also allows for a relationship with a physician that can improve quality of care. I pay less than $1,500 a year to have a physician 24-7 and to be able to get in to see her when I need to. I was very disappointed when I started to become a physician and I only had, you know, five to seven minutes to spend with a patient because I had, I, were, I was employed by someone who was telling me, you need, to sp you need to see 25 to 30 patients a day in order to basically earn your salary. Senator Paul said in the current system, with insurance picking up the prices from dollar one, patients and doctors are not as worried about the price of care. He called that counterintuitive and suggested the direct primary care model was an example of how some are working to improve the system. Dr. Rutherford said that she's been in touch with Senator Ralph Alvarado and Governor Matt Bevin discussing a possible Medicaid pilot program for direct primary care. Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.